Sandra Kedridi, Superintendent for the Albuquerque Public Schools. It breaks my heart not to be able to celebrate with you in person. But the coronavirus caused a postponement of our graduation schedule, and there was absolutely nothing we could do to get around that. But I do have one thing to say. I am so proud of each and every one of you and your achievement. I also want to remind you that you are going to be forever remembered as the graduating class that thrived in the midst of a world pandemic. Now that's something to talk about to your children and grandchildren. We would never let this week go by without figuring out a unique way to celebrate you. Let's start with a national anthem performed by El Dorado High School alum, who is an up and coming recording artist, Alex Stern. Alex? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting Amazing. I'm Dr. David Piercy, President of the APS Board of Education, and on behalf of your Board of Education, we salute you. You selflessly accepted the last semester of your senior year. Without protest or complaints. Unfortunately, social distancing made it impossible to be with you as we would ordinarily in an auditorium. And that is a big disappointment for us all. We so wish things could be different. We can't change our current situation, but we're determined to celebrate you. And we've invited a few friends just to do that. It may seem trivial to some people, and I understand that given all the pain and suffering in the world right now, but I'm 18, and so far, graduating from high school is the biggest accomplishment in my life. No one in my APS class of 2020 ever thought that we'd lose the last semester of our high school education to a deadly, invisible, and relentless pandemic. And yet, here we are. Who would have thought our final assignment would be an exercise in preparedness? Hey, I bet you're feeling a little crazy about now, aren't you? Nervous? Months in isolation with mom and dad filling in the friend front. Board games, movie nights, lots of healthy snacks, some unhealthy snacks, meaningful conversation. Oh, TikTok, dance moves with your mom, right? Anyway, I'm here to remind you that not everything is as it seems. Now, I've spent a few months or years in your city, and I know a little something about the spirit of Albuquerque and its citizens, and I know you're going to get through this. We all are going to get through this. Life is complicated. So, so you aren't experiencing the traditional ceremony everyone expected and wanted. But I'd argue that different is actually more memorable. 
Every graduation from every other generation has done the traditional graduation scene. Huh? You're the exception. Don't forget that. So congratulations and best of luck on your own unique journey in life. Hey, class of 2020, it's me, Steve and Michael Casala. Uh, hey, my friend uh, Brian is right. Uh, look, uh, I'm extremely proud of you. Uh, you know, you come from the class of 2020, uh, landmark uh, number for all of us. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're tougher than you think. Uh, you've been through a lot. Uh, we appreciate your dedication to your future. And uh, just wanted to let you know that there's people out here who are extremely proud of you. Um, I used to sit on the Albuquerque School Board of Education, and one of the greatest things that I was able to do was to shake every graduation, graduating senior's hand. And uh, I kind of missed that since I've become the county commissioner. But that doesn't mean I'm still not as proud uh, as I was as a school board member. Uh, I'm very extremely proud of all of you and I think you should celebrate in any possible way that you can. I know you couldn't celebrate in the regular ways, but hey, you're the class of 2020. I know you'll come up with something super cool, huh? The reports of mass shootings in movie theaters, malls, schools, it's all tough stuff, but you got through it and you'll get through this too. It may not be what you expected, but difficult roads can lead to beautiful destinations. I know it may seem hard to be sheltered away in quarantine on this pandemic, but when I contemplate that, I think of what Richard Loveless wrote many centuries ago with apologies for my tweet. Stone walls do not a prison make, nor iron bars a cage. Minds innocent and quiet take that for hermitage. If I have freedom in my heart, and in my thoughts am free, Angels alone that soar above enjoy such liberty. Your imagination is your greatest asset. It's true that this pandemic has limited us all in some ways, but it's also taught us how to rely on our individual resources to stay engaged, healthy, and hopeful. Mexico is all about great expectations. We know the day is near where we're back on the field with all of you in the stands. New Mexico United wants every graduate to know how proud we are of you for your strong and gracious finish to this leg of your educational journey. I am a reporter, not a fighter, but I just fought and won a battle against the coronavirus. Sure, the virus was terrifying, but I am here to tell you, we are going to be okay. Congratulations to you and your families. This graduation is unique in history. And I'm sure there's one you'll always remember. You've been sequestered for several months, not being able to go out with your friends, staying at home, not going to parties, and now no formal graduation ceremony. But throughout all of this, you've given us a present, a graduation present that we really appreciate. You've given us our lives. By staying at home and following the rules, you have made us in a safer environment so that your parents and your grandparents and my family and I are safer. And we thank you and New Mexico thanks you. But you've taken care of us, how about taking care of yourself? So I encourage you to take some time now to figure out what you have to do to have control over your life and do the very best you can with that. Make your plans, celebrate your milestones, live your best days now, and try not to focus on the last season of sports prom, and senior activities that didn't happen. And I want to remind you that the truth is, you know what you've accomplished. COVID-19 has taken away some rites of passage, but it doesn't take away from all the hard work you put in to earn your diploma. Your family and friends still recognize your effort and the hard work you put in and your determination. We all see who you've become, and you give us reason to hope. I think everyone you'll hear from today agrees that every great generation has overcome adversity. Um, if you have grandparents, ask them about that. Um, we never know what world events will shape us, but those of you in the class of 2020 have certainly seen your share. We all know this isn't how you imagined your school years to end, 
but the friendships, memories, and accomplishments will be yours forever. Hey seniors, we're counting on you. When times get tough, continue to pay it forward and be leaders in your communities. We're proud of you. Redefine the world's values so that everyone that contributes to a better world is considered essential. Thank you, young men and women. You are America's future, but God bless. Here's hoping that your generation can bring us together and put an end to the hateful destructiveness that leads to the senseless loss of so many. As a high school senior myself, I wonder, will it be our generation that lifts us up when we're down and comes together when needed the most? I believe so. And on behalf of everyone who knows and loves our hometown of Albuquerque, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. And we can tell you from experience that some of the happiest days and moments to make memories are still ahead. So hold on just a bit longer. Before we celebrate your class, let's remember words made famous by poet Maya Angelou. You may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Let's do this. Here's to every senior in the class of 2020. Hey bears, we miss you around here. I wanna send you a huge virtual bear hug from all of the staff at La Cueva High School. I'm happy to be celebrating the class of 2020 with APS and my colleagues, and I promise you bears, there are many celebrations to come. I want to wish all the seniors the best stepping forward into a world of endless possibilities. The class of 2020 will rewrite the script of predictable endings and compromised traditions, not only because it's necessary, but because it is time. You've never been one to follow a script anyway, bears. Your creativity, spontaneity, focus, and kindness will pave the way for new traditions and celebrations. I'm excited for the adventures awaiting you, and I know you are too. I miss our dear friend, Austin Denton. Austin's motto of seize the moment speaks to a self-awareness that comes with experience and an attitude that forever sees the possibilities. I believe if Austin were here today, he'd laugh that deep infectious laugh and tell you that seizing the moment shouldn't only happen when the prize is within reach. Seizing the moment means taking a chance, recognizing the barriers, and going for it anyway. So, go for it, class of 2020. You've got this.